Hey, this is Casey and I'm One Mel Marigold. Today, we are gonna give the tomatoes some love. Uh, we have gotten a ton of rain over the last few days and we're gonna get even a little more tonight. And my tomatoes, mm, they're growing out of control. I can't, I just love them. So we have got to get them trellised up. Uh, this year, I'm gonna be trying the Florida basket weave method. So I came out here the other day and I started getting all of my tea posts nailed into the ground. And I did start twining up one section, but I realized my tomatoes really need a bit of pruning and that's gonna make them easier to twine up. So that's what we're gonna start today. Uh, we are gonna start today giving everybody a nice, fresh, healthy prune, which again, I know seems contradictory to some of you, but it's gonna help us in the long run, I promise. And then we'll go ahead and get them twined up and we're gonna see how that works. Look at that cute boy, ready with the frisbee as always to make sure we have a good morning. He's sitting in the corn, by the way. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come through and we're gonna take off all the leaves in the bottom half. It's gonna start looking a little bit like a lollipop plant. Uh, but this is really good to make sure we have lots of airflow coming through the bottoms of the plants. Uh, we are also gonna come through and pick off any of these little suckers, um, as long as they don't already have flowers and fruit. Quick tip when you're pruning is uh, tomatoes can be real sensitive to bugs and pests and diseases and things like that. And so give your pruning snips a good rinse in alcohol before you start using them. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Look what I did! Oh no! I cut right into her on accident on her main stem. Listen, it happens, it's okay, she's gonna be okay. She's really gonna be okay. Um, I'm gonna keep pruning for now just so I can try to get more done before the rain comes in, but I think we'll come back here with just a little bit of electrical tape and we're gonna tape her up and she's probably gonna just heal right over. Okay, we got everybody pruned up and looking good. Now we're gonna come through with the twine. Okay, I've done a couple sections now. I feel like I'm starting to find my groove. It was a little awkward at first, but I really like how this is gonna turn out.
I'm sure this is way easier to do when <laughs> you start when your tomato plants are really small. <laughs> Digging it. Look at this floppy baby. Yeah, let's we'll see how she looks after she's supported. Oliver's behind me at the moment trying to catch bees in his mouth. <laughs> and I'm letting him because I feel like there's a lesson maybe he needs to learn. <laughs> Front. that I've got hot so I can sort of like you know reset rearrange friends oh no oh no oh no Ooh. Oh. this is another great reason why you do it when they're small Ooh. Baby, I'm so sorry. Mm. Okay. Well, that is just a bummer. Um, I mean, the stem is going to root. I'm tempted to just stick her in the ground next to her just to see. If she'll rut and recover on her own. I'm gonna. We're just doing it. Whatever. I'll let you. No. I'll trim off a couple. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry I did that. Mmm. What a bummer. So this one might regrow and this one might rut. We're just gonna see. You know? Life happens. If a gardener shows you only perfect videos, they're not doing a very good job of showing you what real gardening is like. One 
little quick note, if you are newer to growing tomatoes, and maybe you grow in containers, maybe you're on a balcony, something like that, one little fun, I don't know, I think it's fun fact to know, is these little guys, these little plants that come off the main stem at an angle, those are called suckers, and this will actually just create a whole new plant for you. So. Some people take them off because we feel like the suckers sap too much of the energy from the plant and we want to force that into blooming. Some people leave them on. I'm kind of, you know, in the middle. If I see them, sometimes I'll prune them, but this will actually create a whole new plant. So let's say you started your tomato plants and you had a bunch of seedlings and a couple of your plants maybe died and you really want to keep going. Come in here, boop, pop off the little sucker. You're going to root that in water and it's going to form a whole new tomato plant. This little sucker will grow right into a whole new tomato plant and it's not going to take nearly as long as generating seeds. It's actually going to go quite a bit faster. So saving and replanting your suckers is a great way to get more from your harvest if you need it. I think it looks great. I'm really excited about this method actually. Uh, we got the ladies all pruned up so they got lots of nice airflow so that they can grow like crazy with all this big rain we got. Um, and now they're standing up nice and tall but they're not held so firm that they don't have room to wiggle. We did, oh, ouchie, a couple of them by accident but hey, that happens. Um, eventually, I'm going to do the peppers the same way, uh, but they don't actually like all this rain, and so they're a little bit stunted at the moment. We'll take care of them another day. Um, all in all, the project took me about an hour and a half, uh, about a half hour collecting the T-bars and getting those hammered in, and then about an hour to do the trellising and the trimming, so not too shabby. And now, as far as tomatoes go, it's maintenance season. We are looking for flowers. We are adding more twine as they continue to grow. We might be pruning off suckers, we might be feeding, we're watching their watering, but they're good. They're just, they're gonna do what tomatoes do. Thank you so much. I love you so much for all your support. I'm gonna talk to you real soon. Bye.